This is our second experiment, Joel Locker Gun ATM. In this, the aim is to model the use case for Joel Locker Gun ATM system. The software we have used here is Star UML 2.551 version. A use case diagram is a representation of the user interaction of the system that shows the relationship between the user and the different use cases in which the user is involved. And our system is about 12 locker cup ATM. We are going to see the scenarios with that. This is our first scenario. The two actors, bank server and user are the two actors here and the login valid invalid. These uh, are the use cases used here and this is the association link which is used to connect the actor and the use cases. So this is the simple locker opera, uh, operations uh, process in a Joel Locker Cup ATM system by the user. Here the user what is it doing is he's just going to log in in his uh, account number and uh, locker number using the login key and if he is found invalid he's not, uh, he will not be able to log in. And if it's found to be valid by the bank server, he can do his locker operations that he can open or close the locker and he can deposit or withdrawal uh, how much amount of jewel he want from the locker. Uh, he can do that and if you want the details, the bank server can provide him the details which means uh, when the account was last, last visited and um, the date of access and the time everything can be given by the bank server to the user. This is our scenario one. And the explanation is given here. The user logins into his her locker account using the unique locker number provided by the bank, and uh, it is verified by the bank management by processing, um, checking it with the details of the database of the bank server. After the completion, a button called locker operations is enabled. Till then, it will not get enabled. Then locker can be opened for keeping the drawers. We are just moving to the scenario two. If the user who is going to log in is identified as invalid, the previous section he will not be able to log in here. Additionally, an SMS option is added with this. Uh, that is, um, the user should be aware that if some unknown user is uh, using his locker, uh, the, an immediate SMS from the bank server should be reached to the user if the login is found to be invalid. So this is our scenario two. And uh, our scenario three. This is especially meant for the users having a joint hold account. Here, user one, user two, or the two actors who is having a joint hold account, but both are using the same locker. And every time a user one is going to um, op operating the locker, he, he will first be select uh, which user is he, so that the bank server will know. Which user is uh, accessing the locker? It is user one or user two? Yeah, he's going to select the user. Uh, he's going to get login into that. If it is get verified by the bank server as an authenticated user, a message, a simple message will, will be received by the user two. So user two will be know from the place or uh, maybe uh, in office or maybe in uh, shops. Uh, he he'll be he or she will be able to know that user one is accessing the locker. Uh, and if it is not authenticated, an alert. Um, if the if some unknown person is going to select user one, trying to log in as user one, and if it is very uh, and if he is verified as uh, non-authenticated, an alert message from the bank server is given to the user one. So there's any illegal uh, access of the locker can be avoided. Uh, that's our use case diagrams for bank locker come to locker come ATM is successfully modeled here. Thank you.